Hi beautiful people, how are you all doing today? My name is Mark and I love making things sweet and in style. So if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And this is where I do everything and anything creative. So for today, I'm going to share with you a very easy flower without using any veiners at all. And it's none other than a very tropical and hot flower that you can use on your tropical themed cakes. It's none other than hibiscus. See that? It's very pretty. So I'm going to share with you all my techniques from making this very gorgeous and realistic center up to each and every petal. So what are we waiting for? Are you ready to get hot just like this hibiscus? Let's start! Hi guys, so in making the hibiscus flower, um, I have here a paste. You can use cold porcelain or gum paste or any flower paste that you have. So I colored it orange. So basically I mixed in yellow with very little red. So the first thing we need to do, uh, you need to dab cornstarch on your working space. Okay. And also on your paste so it won't stick. And then we need to roll. Okay, so you need to roll it thin. Thin enough that you can still insert wire number 24. Okay, we're using wire number 24, color white, for this one, for the hibiscus flower, okay? So it should be around a little bit thick because we'll thin it out more. Okay, so just like so, you see that? Okay, so we'll be using cutter number 4. So for the measurement, Okay, this is this is five centimeter by four centimeter. Okay, it's five centimeter by four centimeter. So we need to cut. We need five petals for this one. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how we will thin out the petals. So first, you need to dab cornstarch on the foam pad and also on the paste. And then you need to get your ball tool, the medium-sized ball tool. So what I would do now, I would go on the edges to make it thinner. You see that? It's already creating that frills. Okay, so we'll take a closer look at our petal. So gently go around the edge. Okay, if you make the petal thinner and to make it bigger and wider, just like so. Okay, you see that? So the measurement, so it should now be, it should be 6.5 centimeter, okay? So the length is 6.5 centimeter by 4.5 centimeter, okay? It should be 6.5 centimeter by 4.5 centimeter. And then you need to get your wire number 24. And using uh, pliers, you need to loop the end, okay? It's important to always loop the ends of your wire so that your petals won't move left and right, even if you don't have edible glue, okay? Then just insert. So your wire should be only until this, or around 1 inches. So remember to squeeze and lock the end, okay? Then flip it over. So what we'll do now, using a barbecue stick, we will create veinings on the petal. Starting from one point, your stick should be slanting, okay? It should be slanting, not upward, but slanting, okay? So we need to create line. See that? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and go on and go forth. Until you have created a lot of lines. Okay. You can also go back a little bit on the top. So after that, you need to get your ball tool. So using the smaller sized one, I'll just go around the edges, okay, to make it very wavy and freely. Just like the real hibiscus flower. And... What I'm going to do, I'm going to let this dry on my DIY petal former. You can use a spoon if you have a spoon, just like so, and let it dry like this. Okay, put it on top of, of an inverted spoon. But what I love to do, I'm going to show you guys. 
So this is my tray where I usually dry most of the petals that are cut. So I have here a styrofoam ball. The size is 2.5 inches. I cut it in half and then I used a hot glue to stick it on this plastic lid. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave it sitting right there. Okay. Until it has the curve, okay? I'm going to let this dry here for about 10 to 15 minutes and then after that, we will dust. Okay, so right now, we will be making the center of the hibiscus flower. We will make the stigma with the pistils. So first, you need the paste, okay? Same color as your petals. It should be around 1.5 centimeter, okay? You can also do it in 2 centimeter, but I prefer 1.5. And you need your wire number 24. See that? So the measurement is 6 inches, okay? This is 6 inches in length or... 15.5 centimeter. So what you need to do, gently need and massage your paste, okay? And then you need to put it at the center. Okay, you see that? And then we will slowly wrap and twist the wire a little bit, just like so. And then put it on your foam pad and dab cornstarch so it won't stick. Okay, so what we will do now, gently we will roll Okay, you need to roll it. Sometimes it will come out, so just tuck it in. Okay, and then just roll and roll until you cover the entire half of the wire. Okay, sometimes it helps if you hold it here and then you just roll and roll. Okay. Also, you have to make this very thin. Okay, so I'm just rolling and rolling. Okay. Just like so. So, you always have to remember that this part should be thinner. And then, this part should be a bit thick. The reason behind is we will cut the stigma, uh, the pistils, okay? So, we need to cut them out later. So after that, of course, you'll be having an excess, so you have to take it out. So you'll take out the excess, and this is what you will have. Something that looks like so. So it's very thin here, and then it's thick here. So what I need to do, using your scissors, okay, we'll take a closer look. Okay, so what I will do now, I will just lean my scissors on a slanting motion and cut okay so when you cut it's going to come out like that and twist it gently and then cut okay cut cut so as I'm cutting I'm also twisting but I'm generally moving going upwards okay okay so continue cutting and cutting We are making the pistils of our hibiscus. Okay, until you go all the way to the top. So what you'll have is something like so. So what you need to do now, using your barbecue stick, I will open this a little bit more. Okay, so all of this should be open. Just like so, you see that? It's very wonderful. So we'll zoom out. Okay, so this is what you'll have. After that, I have here my gelatin with petal dust. Okay, so I'll just pour something out. Just like so. And using my edible glue, for these two, I'll put on the description box below. So you can check it out later. So right now, I'll just be adding some edible glue at the ends. Okay, you need to make the end very wet, okay? And then what I will do, I'll just dip this here on my gelatin mix, okay? If you can dip it, but if you cannot dip it, you can actually just sprinkle some gelatin bits, okay? At the end. Okay, and then later, just top it out. So you have to do that on all 
And what you'll have is something that looks like so. You see that? Okay, it's out of focus. Let's try to focus. See that? There's like small pollens, okay? And then once you're done on putting all the pollens on each and every pistil, you'll have something that looks like this, okay? Just like the real thing. And then what you need to do, once you have something that looks like this, you need to create four small balls, okay? So just very tiny balls, you need four pieces of that. Okay. And then what I will do, I have here my edible glue. So I'm just going to put very little edible glue on top. Okay, on the top part. And then I will be sticking out this four. You can actually converge the four pieces together. Already. And then just get them all together and paste on top okay so I'll get the other one add edible glue and then just put the other one here okay so it should be four pieces all in all those small circles and then later we will dust this with red okay Okay, so right now my petals are dry, so we'll start dusting them off. So what I'm using is Rainbow Dust, but you can use any other brands of dust that is available at your market. You can also use Sugar Flare. That's also very nice. So first, I have here pink and I have red. So what I'm going to do, using a bigger makeup brush, I will dust off all the cornstarch, okay? And then, using my pinks, I will just add pink okay so i'm adding color pink first okay so i'm starting at the middle going inwards okay just like so and then i'll gently change into my reds so this one it should be from inner going out okay So the inner part should always be darker. And then it slowly fades going out. Okay, and then those excess bits, just brush it off with a bigger paint brush or makeup brush. And then you'll have something that looks like so. Okay, so you need to do this on all the petals. You can actually add very little red accents on the edge. Okay, as if it's burned. Okay, and then after that, we will assemble. Okay, you see that's very tropical. Okay, so right now we are done coloring and adding dust to all our petals. So now we'll start to assemble. So the first thing you need to do, you need to get a very small amount of your paste, okay? So my hands are still red, you see? It's because of the dust. So first, you need to put it at the bottom, okay? Of our... Okay, so just gently pinch so it looks cohesive and one. Okay, if you have to make a round to make it cohesive, okay, just do it. And then I'll get one petal first. So a slightly bend, you should insert it at this level, okay? Just like that. Open it a little bit, but not too much. You need to get another one, just put it under. Okay, so basically these are overlapping. Just like that. And then you need to get your floral tape to make rounds. Okay, so always expand to activate the stickiness. Okay, and then put it under and then we start wrapping. One, two. Some of the paste will be like that. It's okay. okay and then we get another one. Okay. You should all overlap one another so you can move it. And then I add another one here. Just make rounds. Just like so. And then I get another one. Should be 
be under but above this one okay and then later on we will arrange all our petals okay it should be just like so then we wrap with floral tape okay and remember to wrap all the wires so it looks very clean okay, and then we will arrange our petals later on okay because sometimes when you are winding up petals with your floral tape some of them are moving so you need to arrange them afterwards okay so now the bottom part is very clean so this is our flower so we have to arrange it okay so i'll move this one a bit here okay just like that okay so there you have it this is our very beautiful hibiscus flower so the reason why i placed the paste right there so you can actually push it to eliminate the the gaps okay that can be seen and also so that the petals will stay on place once it's dry so normally what i do i go on another round of dusting with red okay just to make the center darker okay see that because the center should always be darker okay so there you have it. This is our very beautiful and easy hibiscus flower without using any veiner. You can actually move this a little bit more under. Okay, just like so. See that? That's our hibiscus flower. I also added a very little dust of red on top on the four circles. And then can actually add just some more red details at the ends okay just to make it more realistic and pretty so there you have it your tropical hibiscus or gumamella flower